The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, second canto, first chapter, text number one, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on June 9th, 1974, in Paris, France. Sri Sukadeva Goswami said, My dear King, your question is glorious because it is very beneficial to all kinds of people. To hear the answer to this question is the prime subject matter of hearing, and it is approved by all transcendentalists. Bariyani Sati Krishna Tutulu Pajitanga Nipa Atmavit Sammata Atvavis sammata pungsang sutu vyadisu jat paraha. So this Srimad Bhagavatam is a question and answer. The beginning, the this Srimad Bhagavatam, first of all, it was directed by Bhaj and uh, it was heard by his son, Sukhdev Goswami. Then uh, Sukhdev Goswami narrated this Bhagavatam <coughs> to uh, Parikhit Maharaj at the time of his death. And from Sukhdev Goswami, Sutta Goswami heard. This is the parampara. Uh, not you. This is the parampara. Hmm? Krishna says in the fourth chapter of Bhagavad Gita, "Evang parampara praptam evang rajar sayo vidu." Bhagavad Gita was spoken by Krishna millions of years ago to the sun god. Aham vivasyate proktam abhayam imam vivasyate proktam vivasyan manavi praha manu ikhagave. This is the parampara. However, this Bhagavad system or Vedic system is not research work. It is not research work. Nowadays, it is a fashion that, just like the theosophists, they are searching out God. Since the beginning they are searching out, and so many leaders came and gone, but they are searching out. And they will go on searching out for life together. But it is not a thing to be searched out. It is not ordinary thing, not material thing. Atapite deva padambuja dayam prasada leshanu grihita evai janati tattam na charna ekopi chirang vichinna. Chirang vichinna for forever, millions of years, if you speculate, to understand what is God, it is not possible. It is not a subject matter of specu- speculative knowledge. No. It is to be received through the right source, hmm. deductive process, not inductive process, uh, <coughs> because our senses are limited. Uh, we cannot have any perfect idea on account of our senses being limited. Uh, we cannot see. So there are so many examples we have talked. This knowledge is not the exact word used in Sanskrit. There are two ways, arohopantha, avarohopantha. Arohopantha means to know something by your dint of knowledge uh, ascending process, uh, ascending process. Just like these people are trying to know 
the moon planet, the Venus planet, or other planets, they are going ascending by aeroplane and to knowing. But they are doing it for the last twenty years. They do not know what is the actual position of the moon planet. That is not known. They are coming, going, or whether they have gone, that they know. But uh, from the uh, situation, it is understood they are not going. Maybe some other planet they are going. That is my opinion. Because the description of the moon planet does not tell you. We have got in the Śrīmad Bhāgavatam, this moon planet is one of the heavenly planets. <coughs> there, very high class of demigods, they live, uh, or one who is elevated to the moon planet, he is uh, living there for ten thousands of years. Ten, what kind of ten thousands of years? In the moon planet, one day equal to our six months. Such months, year, and ten thousands of years. That is the duration of life in the moon planet. Those who are karmakandiya uh, perform ritualistic ceremonies very nicely. They are promoted to the moon planet. And there are other planets also. This is Saraloka. Uh, there are seven planetary systems upwards and seven planetary systems down. Now we are living in the Bhūr loka, middle. Then above this there is Bhūr loka, above this there is Sara loka, above this is Jana loka, Maha loka, Tapa loka, Brahma loka. So this Araha, you cannot go uh, to the Brahma loka, although there is Shastra, or you cannot go to the uh, uh, sun planet also, you are seeing every day. And go there, but you have no right. You cannot go. No. Therefore, this process that I shall go by my strength, I shall know by dint of my own knowledge, research work, these are all laskala. It is that one. So what to speak of understanding God? You cannot understand even what is in your presence, the material world. And the spiritual is beyond the sky. Parastasmatu bhava anna. That is another sky. You have no estimation of this sky. Not only this, this sky. Even in the material world, this is one universe. What sky we see, that is of one universe. But there are innumerable universes. That is material world. And beyond that there is spiritual sky, then the spiritual world begins. Uh, there are also planets, Vaikuntha planets. And above this Vaikuntha planets, there is Krishna Loka. That is Krishna Java. Chintamani, Prakara, Sadma Su, Kalpa, Vikala, Ka, Viti Su. So uh, you cannot understand. Krishna or God or is about by the speculative uh, ascending process. That is not possible. <coughs> you have to inquire from. Uh, therefore, Purikit Maharaj uh, inquired from Sukadeva Goswami, what is my duty? Now I am going to die. Uh, uh, he was cursed by a Brahmin boy to die within seven days. But Kikmara was quite uh, competent to counteract the curse of the uh, Brahmin boy, but he decided that I shall die because he thought that I offended the boy's father. Uh, by encircling a dead snake on the neck of the uh, rishi. 
So his son became angry that you have insulted my father. You die with this snake. Uh, so he accepted. So this, on the death point, uh, he immediately left his kingdom, family, and everything, and went down to the river, bank of the river Ganges, and many, because he was king, so many big, big men, even demigods, great saintly persons, they came to see Maharaj uh, Parikhet at his last stage of life, seven days. And so he asked, what is my duty? Uh, so he was a devotee, Parikhet Maharaj, uh, from his childhood, he was a devotee of Krishna. Uh, so he inquired, uh, what is my duty to know about Krishna? So that is being welcomed by Sukhdev Goswami, that your, uh, to inquire about Krishna, this question is very much welcome. Bharyāne sati Krishna. Prashna means question. You have asked a question about Krishna. It is very, very good. Why? Kṛtu loka hitang nipā. It is good for the all human society uh, because you have inquired about Krishna. Uh, <coughs> you have inquired about Krishna, and I will have to reply. People will hear. It will be recorded, and uh, people will benefit. Loko uh, hitam. In another place, that. Sutta Goswami said, uh, when uh, the Rishi is inquired, now here it is being inquired by uh, King Parikhit, being answered by Sukhdev Goswami. In another place, the Rishis, great saintly person, they also inquired, and uh, Sutta Goswami replied. Uh, uh, so, this kind of question and answer is atavit sammataha. Atavit. Atavit means one who knows, self-realized. Atavit means self-realized. Not this rascals, one who does not know what is self, what I am. He is a, an animal, one who does not know what he is. If I do not inquire, what I am, I am this body, or I am something extra than this body. If this inquiry is not there, uh, the, he is not human being, he is animal. Animal cannot inquire, cats and dogs cannot inquire what I am. He is suffering, uh, every, everyone is suffering who has got this material body. Uh, that is the condition. If you have got material body, you must suffer. It is not the question of European, American, or uh, white, black. There is no such question. If you have animal or man, as soon as you have got this material body, you must suffer. This is condition. This is material condition. Uh, therefore, uh, our Krishna consciousness movement is not meant for, uh, uh, I mean to say, mitigating the so-called sufferings of the body. When there is body, there must be suffering. Uh, so we should not be very much disturbed by the sufferings of the body because you will have to suffer. Even though you make very nice arrangement, just in comparison to Europe and America, uh, in European cities we see so many nice arrangement, living condition, big, big house, big, big road, nice cars. Uh, in comparison to India, uh, if, if some Indian comes from Indian village, he will see it is him. <coughs> so nice house, so nice building, so nice 
motor car but do you think you are not suffering he may think the rascal may think that he is him but those who are residing in this heaven they know what kind of heaven it is <laughs> so suffering must be there uh, suffering must be there as soon as you get this material body uh, uh, why in suffering we are enjoying So what you are enjoying? Uh, is there any guarantee that you will enjoy? Uh, you have got nice building, nice road, nice car. That's all right. You are enjoying. You are thinking enjoy. But is there any guarantee that you will enjoy? Any moment you will be finished. Any moment. Uh, so there is no guarantee. That is not enjoyment. Real enjoyment is permanent enjoyment. Uh, just like we construct some house, uh, making the uh, what is called foundation. foundation very strong. Uh, in your country, they make very strong foundation. But what is your foundation, sir? Is it very strong? You can be taken away at any moment. So before making the foundation strong, why don't you make your foundation strong that you shall be able to live here permanently? But that intelligence they have got. They will waste time making the house foundation very strong, not for himself. His foundation tilting at any moment, any second. Uh, this is called. Uh, Just shaat mo budhi kuna piti dhatu saiva go khol. So with this kind of intelligence, they are called animals. The animal does not know. The dog does not know. The dog will live for six years to ten years, but he is very proud. I have got a very nice master. Go, go. You see. So this kind of intelligence is no good. Therefore, it is said here, "Atma vid sammata." This kind of question is proved by persons who are self-realized. Atma uh, vid, one who knows what he is. Sammata. Sammata means approved. Atma vid sammata. Pungshan suto bhadi su jatpara ha jatpara. Para means superior. We are accustomed to hear so many things, uh, radio and <coughs> dictaphone and so many things. Uh, we are hankering after hearing uh, tape record or this uh, gramophone album and uh, news from in the newspaper. We are always anxious. Uh, Very anxious, big, big news. New York country, especially <coughs> millions of papers, newspapers, such big, just to hear what is going on in the world. But after seeing one or two pages, you throw it out uh, because you are happy. You know that there is political strife. There was fire. There was burglary. There is this. There is this. The same story. Chirbita charmana na chewing the chew, no actually no pleasure. By uh, we have seen in your country now nowadays in all country so many nice nice magazine, but they see one or two pages and they cry because there is no pleasure. Uh, although I have got hankering to hear so many things, but this kind of hearing will not give me pleasure. Therefore, here it is said, "Suto badi su jab paraha." This it is not ordinary here. This Krishna prasna question about Krishna and answer about Krishna. This is not ordinary question and answer. It is atma visammata. Those who are self-realized, they will understand. They will approve of it because it is transcendent. So to bear this, you just para. So, one can say 
that there are many subject matter for hearing. Uh, it may be one of them. No. Uh, they say, he says, uh, Sunday Goswami says, no, it is for all, transcendental, the most superior kind of question and answer, hearing. Uh, uh, so one may think there are different types of subject matter for hearing. It may be one of them. Uh, that therefore in the next part, Sukhdev Goswami says, Sutubhyadini Rajendra Nilang Santi Sahasasa. My dear king, Rajendra. Rajendra means the best of the kings. He is Sukhdev Goswami, yes. Parikit Maharaj is the best of the kings. He has selected, he is preparing. He does not think that I am now king. And I die, I shall again become king. He does not think like that foolishly. He knows that I may be king in this life, and the next life I may be dog. Because his atma he knows, atma, the soul, that is under the control of nature. You cannot say that this time I am very nice, good-looking French boy and girl. The next life I shall become also the same. Uh, some poet in India, he sang, Ei desete janma amar, ei desete mori. Uh, I have taken birth in this country. Everyone has got love for his country. That is modern civilization. Uh, uh, now, the Napoleon in your country loved his country so much. Now where he is, you do not uh, he has simply a stone photograph, statue. You are thinking that Napoleon is worshipping. You do not worship actually. Worship is yet. If you worship, you must keep Napoleon in this way. But no, you keep on the stage for passing stool by the crows. <laughs> uh, that is not worship. Uh, that is insult. Suppose if you think this statue belongs to Napoleon, and you have exposed this statue for passing stool by the crows. Is that very good worship? Uh, if I ask you, please stand on the stage, and the crows will pass stool on your head. Uh, this is intelligence. This is modern civilization. They have no even common sense intelligence. If you are worshipping Napoleon, why don't you keep that? We are worshipping Krishna. We are keeping in a nice place. That they will say, they idol worship. Uh, this Askel will say, these foolish people are worshipping an idol, and they are worshipping Napoleon very nice. <laughs> Just see their intelligence. Uh, so therefore, uh, because they do not know, because they are not atmavit, therefore their opinion has no value. Uh, no value. We don't care for their opinions. Uh, here it is atmavit sammata. Uh, one should be taken. Approval should be from persons who is self-realized. Then his opinion has value. Otherwise the rascal says, in my opinion, what is the opinion of your wealth? We don't take such opinion. Uh, we take the opinion of Krishna and Krishna's devotee. Uh, one who is pure devotee of Krishna or Krishna directly or his representative, we take their opinion. Uh, that is called atavi sammato. Uh, so one may think these question and answers, maybe as we do ordinarily, it may be like that. <coughs> no, Sukhdev Goswami Mulcha says, Sutubhyadini uh, Rajendra, my dear king, Sutubhyadini, the subject matter for hearing, Nirang Santi Sahasrasa of this ordinary common man, there are many thousands of questions and answers. There is life. Uh, any, any businessman, as soon as he will go to the association of business, they are the only the hearing. What is the rate of this commodity? And another man says, this is the price. So if it is favorable, purchase. So this is going on. But, ah, uh, uh, this is not that kind of question and answer. What is the price of this commodity and that commodity? No. 
Therefore, it is said, Sutubhyadini Rajanta. Neither it is radio message or football club or so many things. No. It is meant for the common class of men. Sutubhyadini Rajendra, Ninang. Ninang means common people. Sutubhyadini Rajendra, Ninang Shanti Shasu. That kind of questions and answers and many, many thousands. Uh, why they have got so many thousand and you have got only one question, one answer about Krishna? Uh, that is answered in the next line that āpaśyatāmātmatattam grihesu grihamedina. General people, people in general, they are grihesu in the at home. Uh, but they are grihamedhi. There are two words, grihamedhi and grihastha in Vedic language. Uh, grihastha means those who are a householder living for convenience, wife, children, uh, because everyone cannot, especially in this age, especially in your country, to talk sannyas is a very difficult job. Uh, you should not be. Given, neither should be taken. Uh, actually, in this age, sannyas is forbidden. Uh, but if one is very strong, he can accept sannyas. Uh, so, better to remain a grihastha and cultivate Krishna consciousness. Uh, that is better. Uh, don't accept whimsically uh, sannyas and they do all nonsense. No. Uh, so it is better to remain grihastha, uh, but not grihamedhi. Uh, grihamedhi means that uh, he does not know anything else than to support the wife and children and live very comfortably, well dressed. Uh, that is called grihamedhi. His center is only that apartment. He does not know anything more than that apartment. That is called grihamedhi. And grihastha means that he knows many things. Uh, Krishna, beyond this apartment, just like in our Krishna consciousness movement, we don't talk of anything. Uh, we simply talk of Krishna. And if we talk of Krishna at least for hundred years in the present position, still our stock will not be finished. We have got so many books. Uh, if for one hundred years, whatever stock we have already got, if we read for one hundred years continually and try to understand one word of Śrīmad Bhagavatam, then it will take hundred years. That one word, dharmādhyasya jataha, if you try to understand, you can understand it for one hundred years. So it is so nice, Śrīmad Bhagavatam. Go on reading every day, you will find. Both Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita. Every day, the more you become realized, after a bit, you see new meaning, new light. Srimad Bhagavatam is so nice. Simply, if you read Srimad Bhagavatam, Vidya Bhagavatam, one is learned. What is the limit of learning? The limit learning is when you understand Srimad Bhagavatam. That is the limit. In it. Uh, there is no knowledge required anymore. That what it is called. Sutubhadi uh, Sujapara, the ultimate first class. So, but the Apusatam Atmutattva, Atmutattam Grihi, Sugriya Medina. Griya Medi, they do not know that there is soul and the soul is permanent and uh, how we actually we are hankering after happiness. For whose happiness? It is soul's happiness. It is Krishna's happiness. Uh, we uh, we try to protect this body. We are very much fond of this body. Why? Because the soul is there. Everyone knows it. Uh, as soon as this body, there is no soul, it is kicked out. Uh, throw it away uh, in the street. Nobody cares for it. Uh, suppose a beautiful man 
and beautiful girl, dead body is lying on this, who cares for it? But as soon as so long the soul is there, oh, such a nice, beautiful, such a nice, beautiful boy. No? The soul is important. So actually we do not love this body, because the same beautiful body is there. Why do not care? Because soul is not there. Therefore I love the soul. This is the fact. This is called ātma, ātma tattva And why I love soul? Because I love Krishna. Soul is part and parcel of Krishna. So why I am so much fond of soul? Because it is part and parcel of Krishna. Therefore ultimately I love Krishna. This is the conclusion. And if I do not love Krishna, that is my abnormal stage. And the normal stage is, I love Krishna. Therefore we are trying to awaken Krishna consciousness. As soon as one is fixed up in Krishna consciousness and begins to love Krishna, then he doesn't want to love anything more. Samin kithātu, now I am fully satisfied. So otherwise we will have many questions, many answers, so long we are not self-realized, and our time will be spoiled. So this Krishna Prasna, uh, inquiry about Krishna, that should continually go. And the, all the answers we will find in the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. And simply by questions and answers your life will be successful. Thank you very much.